Also, guys, this is Farid in here with um, a little tutorial um, on facial expressions. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna start. Uh, start. I'm just gonna say I haven't really done much of these, so you know, I'm, I'm not very good at them. But I'll show you how to do it, and then you know, you can practice and you know, see what you can do. But um, there may be like some tutorials on um, YouTube, which uh, it's called Postmorph. Uh, how do you yeah. As you can see here, they're like little cartoon faces, which are so like a lot easier to sort of animate. Um, if you get what I mean. But if you got something like here's General Shepard, well, it can be a bit tricky because you can see all these points, which these are what you're gonna need to be um, moving. So. What you want to do, go to right, right click. I can't remember where you go. Here we go. So character tags, post morph, and you come up with this little editing section. You just want to check points, and it comes up with a sort of mode which is edit, and it's got these different poses. The base pose is what you can see now. If you just click on this, you can. If I just show you quickly, if I just bring this point out on his cheek as you can see it goes back unless you want to go to the like you know that will slowly instead of like keyframing it moving along keyframing it this is sort of for facial expression and points but yeah if I, if I just um I don't know if you can delete it no you can't but yeah if I just come control Z all that When I get to the start, there we go. So you just go on to go to character tags, post morph, check points, and then when you're at that at that stage, you got your base pose, which is this. And say you want to move his eyebrows up, check the the second pose, not the base pose. Um, click on the object, have the point selector. And what you want to do is you just want to select sort of the area around his. Let's just show it. Um, it's not going to be perfect because I don't really do much of this. But I'm just going to move his eyebrow up. So I'm moving to all the points. Or I'm selecting, sorry, all the points that are around his eyebrow. Which I think that would do. And I'll just move them up. And that is. As you can see, one eyebrow is lifted. Um. So we got the base pose and the normal one. So how do how, like it, how do we animate it? Basically, it's piss. You want to select the auto keyframe button, which is the middle out of the three red circles. You want to just quickly start it off at 0% because this is like this sort of like the opacity, but it's the strength of this pose. So this is like no pose, half pose, full pose. If you know what I mean, I, it's, I'm trying to put this in my own words, but yeah. So if I just come forward, okay. So I've set that to naught. Keyframe's been down. Move it forward. Set it to a hundred, and another keyframe's been put down. <coughs> Sorry, my, fo my throat's going. As you can see, it's not working. Yes, great. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Let me just try normal. Alright, so keyframe move keyframe no okay now this usually worked for me but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe if you go to animate Oh bollocks what have I done here? I've deleted something. There we go. So yeah. Okay, I think I've done it. I think you gotta as you can see we've got our pose. We would just want to animate sort of starting with the base, slowly going into this pose. I think you go to animate. Here we go, sorry. <laughs> it's this one. You just want to check animate, making sure you got the, the this pose selected. Check the um auto keyframe button. 
select that and not. We'll go forward a bit. Select to a hundred. There we go. So I got confused because there's sort of the strengths so are like, yeah, animate. I forgot about that. And then you just check off that. So if I just here we go. So we got a nice animation of his eyebrow raising. I don't know whether this is the same as eyes. I'm just going to test it quickly. Like if you want to do eye movement, um, select that visible elements. going a bit further. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll move this. No. I'll move. I do what have I done? Oh, bollocks. It's not working. Oh my god, seriously. Oh, okay. I, I bugged it up somehow, but um, yeah, that is how you would um originally do it. You'd select that, select the points, making sure that you check the point first, the point box, and then you'll come into this sort of edited. I don't know what this is called, uh, interface sort of thing. You select point or point, point or point. You you move it. Oh, here we go. It doesn't now. Fucking awkward, isn't it? Oh my god, that's... This is why I don't do tutorials, because it always fucks up on me. Alright, let's try it again now. It's going to be awkward if it doesn't do it. There we go. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to look, but I'm just going to rotate them as well. Oh, that looks a bit weird, but... You know, it's only a quick one. Um, and this is... Uh, I've actually still done this on that same pose. So this will happen as soon as the um, at the same time as the eyebrow goes up. Yeah, I don't think it'll do that. Okay, let's go to animate. Delete these keyframes. Select this. Select not slider. I'll have to redo the keyframes. But yeah, the eye does move, doesn't it? But that looks really retarded. And you can do that with lips, noses. Uh, cheeks and you can just make a general facial expression but you need to understand how the face moves when you do a certain animation which I don't know yet it's like when you start animating characters like you need to know what the arm does when you're running what the leg does what the hips does what the head does and it all looks sort of well mine look really shit without endorphin but <laughs> yeah I hope this has helped I don't really know much about it but you might be able to have a bit more practice and get you know get used to it and actually get some good materials um, created from it so I hope it's helped please like and comment sorry for the drag and the the fucking errors that come up in this tutorial all the things that didn't work I, I don't really know much about it but yeah um there's a few more tutorials gonna come out I'm just gonna let's see we got lock on smashing wall crack floor and realistic 3d text which will be coming out soon so Look forward to them. Peace.